Hi, 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 hi guys, my name is Bernie Bloom. I'm the CEO and founder of Ansel. I have two of our server appliances here. This is the Ansel Nano and this is the Ansel One. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the Ansel One and what our customers are actually doing with it and what are typical use cases for it. Think of it as your own virtualization center, right? So you can run virtual servers which can be either real VMs or it can be bare metal containers. And with the bare metal containers, you can get the most out of your hardware, which makes it possible to run like a hundred instances on just one, one server here. And as you can see, the whole thing is completely fanless and, uh, and dust proof. What can you use the virtualized environment for? So for example, if you're a developer, you can run all your development stacks on there. You can have your dev and, and, and test environments on there, whether it's a Ruby on Rails stack, a mean stack, a LAMP, LEMP, uh, whatever stack it might be. Um, you can just create your environments here. You can run Docker and Kubernetes on it. We have templates for that. And um, so for dev test purposes, it's perfect. You can also use it as a firewall device. Um, by the way, it has four or Ethernet ports here, so you can do a lot with that. Um, it also has uh, USB ports. There's a firewall built in, firewall software built in, but you can also install other firewall software like PFSense or um, SonicWall. So see the links in the descriptions for these virtual firewall uh, softwares that you can install on the Ansel One. So with, with that said, the fanless device, the dust-proof device, so there's no, no fans in there, so there's no dust that is you know, being sucked in or anything like that. You can use it in environments like warehouses or factory floors where that is a critical, um, critical criteria. Many of our customers use it, for example, on factory floors. We have GE Transportation, the guys that um, that make uh, locomotive engines. So they have a lot of these Ansels uh, running on, on the factory floor. Well, you can run all sorts of, of application software. You can, you, know, you can run QuickBooks on it. So it could be a QuickBooks uh, server so that you can access your QuickBooks instances from anywhere. Uh, you can install Nextcloud on it, which is like a Dropbox clone. Um, so you can share all your files and it's as easy to use as Dropbox, but it's not hosted on Dropbox's servers. It's just locally on your own device, but you can still access it from anywhere in the world. You can also run like applications like your own CRM, for example, Sugar CRM, like an open source CRM system. Uh, you can run Redmine, which is a trouble ticketing or, or bug management system and um, there's so many use cases, but the most popular ones that most of our customers use it for has to do with cybersecurity. And that is because our Ant-Man, our dashboard that makes the private cloud easy, is so simple to use and so quick in spinning up your virtual server, spinning up your environments, tearing them down again, spinning them up again. It's also quick and instantaneous, and, and it comes with a lot of ready-made templates. For example, Kali Linux, which is very popular in the CyberSec community. And, um, and then you can use your Kali Linux, and then you can install some other tools, and then you just take a snapshot, which is instantaneous, right? Um, try that on VMware or AWS. It always takes a lot of time to create the snapshots because it copies everything, right? We use a copy and write file system, so that means the snapshots are just bookmarks, so they are instantaneous. And then from your snapshots, you can create your own templates, right? So you can use your Kali and then install stuff on there like Metasploit or whatever CyberSec tools you want to use and then create your own template off of it. And then when you tear down your environment, next time you can spin it up again exactly in the state as it was before because you created your own template from it. So, and, and most of the cybersecurity professionals, they, you know, experiment a lot. You know, they kind of, they create a replica of their attack surface. Say they have, you know, like five, seven, 500 servers that could be attacked. 
and you can create a replica of these inside this virtualized environment, right? You can have, you know, a hundred of virtual servers in here and you can create your VLANs, virtual LANs with software-defined networking super easily to create that exact replica of your attack surface that you have out there in real servers. And then you can try attacking it. You can use Metasploit to try to attack it. Um, you can, you know, use uh, tools like Cuckoo Sandbox in order to do some malware analysis, which some of our bank uh, clients are using it for. And um, basically, it's you know, it's it's a really nice cybersecurity lab or a cyber range. Um, and you know, it, it has a very nice form factor. Uh, you can cluster them together if you need more power. And well, these are the typical use cases for the Ansel One. So again, please, um, if you don't mind, give us the like button. It helps us and helps the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to our channel. And um, please write us in the comments what use cases you see and what use cases you would like to use the Ansel One for. And um, yeah, I promise we, uh, we do our best to respond to each, each one of your comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon and bye-bye.